is Lalo, uh, one of the biggest uh, food YouTubers here in uh, Mexico City. You're gonna take me around. Of course. And we're gonna do some uh, traditional yeah. Mexican breakfast. Actually, we're going to do everything. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner. So, are good. you ready? Oh, I'm always ready. I'm hungry. <laughs> here we go. This is like a traditional breakfast okay. here in Mexico City. Actually, the most famous uh, place to eat La Torta de Chilaquil. All right, let's do it. Yeah. These guys are busy. Like they just opened at like 10 o'clock, already a line. The most famous here uh, torta is La Bomba. The la bomb. Bomba? The bomb? The bomb. So it's La Torta with beans and then chilaquiles, uh -huh. both red and green. Uh -huh. And then they put it, uh, chicken. Yes. Cochinita pibil. Uh -huh. And then onion. Mm -hmm. And then habanero. Wow, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. All right, this feels like a bomb. It's heavy. Yeah. It's yes. heavy. This is basically Mexico between two buns. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we? Yeah. Cheers. Good. That is awesome. Two bucks is better than any sub I think I've had. So you got the juicy pork. Yeah. You got the nice chicken flavor. And I, I'll tell you, even though this feels heavy, I'm not eating this and I'm just like, I don't feel like it's sitting heavy in my stomach. I like, I just, I want to keep taking the next bite. Yeah. I love how mm -hmm. like every every single meal I've had in Mexico so far, it's just been really spicy. I love that. <laughs> I feel like I'm home right now. But this is not too spicy, right? This is, that's why this is breakfast. I'm like infinitely happier right now <laughs> than I was like before my first bite. You're welcome Thank you. to this Mexico. This is so good. Thank you so much. This is so good. <laughs> you got to come here and get this. And they're so sweet. Seriously, mm. sweetest people. So we're gonna eat up and then we're, we're gonna keep on going. Yeah. The day continues. All right, buddy, as a, as a thank you for the great breakfast. Um, you ever had a rumune? No, I never tried okay. it. Okay, you ever had a mochi ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mochi yeah, ice cream. Yeah. So I got us some mochi ice cream because uh, I think, you know, we ate something spicy and we could cool down with a little mochi ice cream. And then I got us a romone. You want a regular flavor or a strawberry? Regular. Oh, regular. Okay. What, what do you prefer? I like I like watermelon. I okay. got I got watermelon too. You like watermelon? Yeah, watermelon. There you go. Here's oh. your romone. All right. You know you know how to open a romone? Okay. So you take yeah take the blast off. Don't throw away the cap. The cap is okay. important. The cap is the key. Take out the little ah, okay. push thing. Put it right there. Yeah. All right. Push down hard. Nice. <laughs> Mine's not going down. Ah, there cool. you go. Take it off. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Damn. There's a little marble in there. Oh my God, this is amazing. But it's like, you're like a baby, no? Just, this is like a... No, just uh, take, a, take a drink and then push the marble down, make sure it's down. So then the marble will give you a, then you get a nice gulp. Yeah. But you have to, sometimes the marble gets a little stuck. Okay. <laughs> this is from China? No, it's from Japan. Japan. Robone, yeah. amazing. I love nice. I can't believe I found it. It's just like right next door to the to the Torta place. Cool down with a little mochi ice cream. We're having dessert a little bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. This is ice cream. Mochi ice cream. Okay. Oh, try it, try it. And this is Japanese too. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I think after something spicy, cool your stomach down with a little milky, mm. a little limone. Now we're ready for more. Yeah. All right, we're at our second place. This is the market? Yeah, this is the market El Chorrito. Uh huh. They, they don't have the best name, but they, they have great food here. This is the place that when I first messaged you, you yeah. said that was closed on Sunday. Exactly. It was, so we had to come today because this is your favorite breakfast place. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Sit, let's sit, go. Sit. This is a common market in yeah, Mexico. Yeah. A lot of places to eat. I love markets like this. This is the place. This is the place? Yeah. Every single th uh, thing in here, it's amazing. Amazing. And for me, it's one of the best places in Mexico okay. City. Okay. Although here. we just had a bomb, <laughs> I'm still so excited. <laughs> So this place is called La Lupita. La Lupita. This place has been around for over 30 exactly. years. Exactly. Wow. We need to try a little thing. Of okay. Everything. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Yes. And this is nice sauce, red sauce that is spicy. And this is the green one. Yeah. Both are amazing. This is the reason I haven't been able to sit down for the past two days. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good. If you came to Mexico, 
don't ask to the Mexican, oh, excuse me, this is spicy? Because the Mexican say, no, of course, it's not spicy. But it's spicy. Yeah. It's, it's always spicy. Mike, this is the first plate that okay. is sope with beans. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a green sauce mm -hmm. and cheese, yeah. onion mm -hmm. with a bistec. Yes. Chorizo, chorizo, aguacate, and nopal. It's beautiful. Got a little it's green, beautiful. little red. I love chorizo, I love cheese. There we go. This looks absolutely bomb-tastic. It is crusty on the bottom, yeah. too. Yeah. Salute, my friends. <laughs> Provecho. And it's just really nice texture, you know? You got the soft guacamole, you got the soft beans, but then you got the nice crunch of the cactus, you got a nice crunch from the tortilla. Oh, that chorizo is fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it has the beef in here too, right? Yeah. Top. I love how you guys combine different types of meats together, you know what I mean? All right, this looks amazing. This is enchiladas. Enchiladas, they're both enchiladas. Yeah, both enchiladas. Uh -huh. This is the green one, and this is uh, with mole. Yes. This is sweet mole. Sweet mole. It's different. Enchiladas, beef on top, and chicken inside. Exactly. So in this country, cows and chickens, they're best friends. <laughs> this is the green one. I love the sauce. I love it. It's just mm. nice pepper flavor. Exactly. And I love the tortilla. It's a little crisp. The onion's actually a little sweet. Yeah. All the flavor you love, sour, spicy, sweet, it's all in here. So you need to try the Oh, the yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, <laughs> bring it on. Oh, man, it's mole. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice. The mole, that right? surprised me. <laughs> All right, you get a little burst of sweetness when you first go in your mouth. Kind of shocks you a little bit. Uh -huh. Actually, we eat with bolillo, mm. with this. That's the bread. That mole is borderline intoxicating. So this is all breakfast food we just had. Yeah. What I love about it though, every dish, tons of meat. This. Eat everything. This is what I love for breakfast. <laughs> this is yes. real breakfast. That's right. <laughs>
This is for more flavor. Yeah, it is. Love me some chicharrones. And now you need to take your aguacate and like ah. this. Woo! Okay. This is looking insane, dude. Then onion. Onions, okay. All right. And then oregano. I don't know how to say oregano. Oregano, yeah. Oregano. I'm Put gonna add hand. just a little bit. That's it. Little chili, just a little bit. And lemon. So you got the white soup and I got a green soup. Yeah. What's the difference here? The difference is because this is made with uh, inside the pumpkin. Oh, we have pumpkin seeds. That's made a sauce. They put it in, in the pozole. Okay, so this thing is filled with pork. Exactly. And with pork. Uh, corn. Corn. The big one. You mix? Yes. And now you're ready to eat. All this right. I'm, I'm going to make amazing. sure I mix get a little everything. bit of everything. Yeah, we go, buddy. <laughs> pozole. It's the best. Pozole. That I love it. It's some hearty, mm. satisfying, tummy warming, delicioso soup. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. Try this. Try the difference. This is completely different. Yours is soupier than mine. Yeah. Like, more soupy. More I soup. love this. My, I, I'm, I'm all in for the green. I'm team green right now. I prefer this over that. Really? Mm -hmm. like if it was raining right now, this is the perfect rainy dish. <laughs> you know, exactly. it's so comfortable. Yeah. You're sitting here, it's pouring outside, you're just like watching the rain, <laughs> like put on a Disney movie or something. You got the perfect Sunday afternoon. All right. What in God's greatest creation is this? This is chamorro. It's the pork, but it, it, the leg. Oh, look at the pork. Exactly. The chamorro is for sure. For sure. You put it in the, in the center. In the center. Mm -hmm. And everybody, we can make oh. tacos with our pozole. Look at, look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. I want some of this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This is the best part right here, right? By the bone, this gelatinous fatty piece right here. Man. <laughs> yeah, baby. A little guacamole? Guacamole. Yes. Ah, cactus. Yeah, nopal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm. That was perfect. Amazing, right? So good. Take a bite of that. Bite of soup. You gotta try this wings. I'm here. This soup is absolutely delightful. My soul is fulfilled right now. <laughs> like my soul meter is like, mm, I'm good. No place. Yeah, this is for dinner. Obviously, it's tacos. If you if you visited Mexico, you need to try tacos. Yes. Obviously. Do you eat tacos every day? I yeah. eat tacos every day. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yes. I yeah. mean, it's so convenient. Of this course. Tacos stands everywhere. But attention, American people. Taco Bell is not Mexican. <laughs> this is actually this is a, a weird taco. Uh -huh. This is not a regular taco. Okay. Ron Lauro is a famous uh, taqueria in Mexico uh -huh. that has made this kind of weird taco uh -huh. that is made by the spine, call it the spine. Uh -huh. I give you this opportunity to try these tacos because it's for you, Mike. Okay, thank you. For you, I, for I, you. It, this is not I, a common taco. I feel the love. <laughs> I feel the love. <laughs> this is called the bomb too. It's, it's also the, called the, the bomb? Yeah, it's, this is why I love this guy. He keeps taking me to places that are like just bombs. <laughs> This spine. is it? This yeah. is the spine? Yeah. Oh, good lord! They have everything. Oh my gosh. Suadero, chorizo, tripa. Yeah. With the spine. Wow. Everything in a taco. That's why it's the bomb again. You know what? I, I, again, I love how Mexicans mix the meats inside. <laughs> and you know, they, they play well together. Whoa. Check it. Oh, that is a yeah, filling taco. Big one. Oh my good. No. With onion and 
cilantro, oh, an avocado, avocado, another tortilla Yo, only for you. You call this a taco? Yeah. This is like a taco sandwich. That's why it's a bomb. I mean, how do I even begin to eat this? Because like, how do you, would you just grab with yeah, this tortilla with first? with another tortilla, you can make another taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I make Yeah, one. you make one and I'll make one and there you go. All right, pick up the cayo. Green salsa, okay. This is real spicy. This is a monster taco. They say if a taco close, it's not a taco. <laughs> if I was at an airline, they'd be charging me extra baggage fee right now. The bomb. The bomb. The Final bomb. cheers, my friend. Fine. I'll be 100% honest, man. Mm. This is good stuff. Better than Taco Bell? This is I don't know about that. <laughs> I do love my nachos grande <laughs> and my fire sauce. This is actually really, really good. So the spinal meat is uh, really soft. Yeah. It's got that nice contrast of creamy to like the charred chorizo. I'm getting crunches. Is that shit you in there? It's a suadero. It's a beef. It's beef? Yeah, oh, it's a beef. It's so good. You got me a tongue too. Have you ever tried this? I, I tried tongue before. I like tongue. Mm. The tonka is amazing, it's the best. This tender is, is just so juicy, I love it. All right, apparently we got sponsored by the taco place or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Crea Ron Lauro since 1970. I just wanna say, I've been here in Mexico. People are just the warmest people I've ever met in my life. Really? We literally, like all day, we didn't have to pay for food. Not like we didn't try to, we <laughs> wanted to. It's just, they're so warm, like, no, please. I, mean, I feel so, you know, come to Mexico. Just, you know, eat the food, hang out with the people. It's amazing. It, everybody's welcome to Mexico. Eat the original Mexican food. Yes. Especially tacos. You hear me, Taco Bell? This guy got a vendetta against Taco Bell. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. I do not blame him. I feel the same way with Panda Express. Uh, man, thank you so much no, today. Thank you Taking to you. me around. Yeah. You're an amazing dude. Check out his channel. It's awesome. It shows you all the great Mexican food or food around the world. If you uh, came to Mexico and you travel around to Mexico, I have an app. You have an app? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Garnacha is yeah. G-A-R-N-A-C-H-A. Dot MX. I'll put all the information down below for you guys. I will definitely be back. Um, again, thank you so much, and thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.